Hello, grade twos. Welcome to math for today. Now, you remember yesterday I was talking about increasing patterns. And as you remember, increasing just means to get bigger or larger. And I showed you these examples of increasing patterns, starting with one and each time increasing by one more star, going from one, two, three, four, and five. Same thing here with the circles, even though it may not look exactly the same, we are increasing by half a circle each column. Here, this example was a little bit different. Here, we are increasing two squares each time. So we start with two, then we go up to four, six, eight, and 10. And I know that some of you already realized that that was actually going up and counting by twos. So you can see it here a little more clearly. You can see that each time you are adding two more to the top to make it taller. So now that we are thinking about numbers in that way, let's actually look at how that would look. So let me start with two. Now the next number we have is four. And as you can see, two and then four, we're adding two more. We're counting by twos. We're skip counting by twos. So we have two, four, and then two more it takes us up to six. Now, those of you who remember how to count by twos, you're already with me. You know what goes here in the blank. But let's pretend for a second that you actually don't know what goes here. Well, we had six here. So I'm gonna copy those over to here. And we're going to add two more because that is our increasing pattern. Each time we're adding two more blocks. So if we were to count these then, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when we count by twos, we have an increasing pattern where each time we're going up by two. All right, now you can use this with higher numbers as well. For some of you, you look at two, four, six, eight, and you think, yeah, of course, I learned that back in grade one. But it still applies with larger numbers as well. So let's take a look at how the blocks look for this sequence. So we'll use our tens here to make the number 20. All right, so now we are going to go up by twos. And we'll see, we add two ones here at the bottom and we make 10, 20, 21, 22, 20, 22, 24. We are once again going to go up by twos. So two more comes over here to join them. And if we were to count that, we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So to figure out what comes next, we just need to follow the pattern again. We are increasing each time by two. So I'm gonna bring over two more to join this here. And let's count and see what we've got. We've got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So as long as you can figure out the pattern that you are following with the numbers, you can use this knowledge to help you figure out which numbers are missing. Now, this is a way of counting by twos you might not have thought of before, because usually when we count by twos, we go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Most of you know that one off the top of your head. But if I asked you to count by twos on the odd numbers, that would make you stop and think. That would make you go, huh, actually, how do I do that? So let's actually do that then. I'm going to separate these and I'm going to take away one of them. There we go. So we start with one and we're going to follow the pattern of increasing by twos. So let's bring two over to join the one. So we'll do our adding here. One, two, three, and that's what we've got here. All right, we're going to increase by two again and keep our increasing pattern going. Let's add two more. So we take a look here and we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Let's continue this pattern. I'm just gonna move these over here and let's increase by two again. 
and let's see just how much we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So as we're counting by twos, even though we started on odd numbers, we can still keep this pattern going. In fact, let's do one more just so that you can really clearly see what we're doing. So what would come after seven? Well, let's move this seven over here and add two more, increasing by two once again, and let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So just remember that skip counting is actually an increasing pattern where you are increasing by the same amount each time. Think about this, and tomorrow we're going to increase our pattern by five at a time. Please join me then. then.